again, there's a lot you can do with Sage. Right now we're on the 3D plot section. So let me open up my Sage terminal. And I'm going to start typing stuff in. All right, so let's just scroll up and type stuff in. X, Y are variables. And then we got a function, most likely, a function of X and Y. And that function is x squared minus y squared. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste. All right, let's just do this over here. And then I'm going to do the p3d. Whoops. And I want to show it, see what happens. So it just launched my web browser, believe it or not. Now, I know you're probably thinking that uh, preview would open. But what's nice about when this opens up in a web browser is I can pull this thing around. Now, granted, I may not like the way it looks, but at least I have this application now where I could be moving this thing around. All right? And that's probably pretty important to have something like that. All right, where you could actually start to visualize things and you can pull them around. All right? You can also zoom in. All right? Not very useful, but you could do that. I think you see what I'm doing. Spin it around. All right? So let's go back. That wasn't too bad. Now granted, software does change. What I mean by that this was another program that Sage was once using, um, I believe it was called JMOL, that JMOL was another application that Sage uh, on, on OS X would open sometimes. Now it's using the web to do it. You can change this around though, by the way. I noticed that you know, I, if I, I didn't like the way that was looking, I want to go back to my terminal. And I don't know, I'm thinking that um, it, it doesn't look right to me. So let, let's, let's just play around with the numbers. All right, and let's go back and let's let's go from minus let's say minus two to two and let's do this from minus two let's see what happens okay and then i'm gonna i'm gonna do the show again a little better all right so i'm getting something a little better again you can play around with these things as much as you want and that's, again, it opened up the web browser, the web browser now. Again, a year from now, this might change. It might open up another uh, application. But the bottom line, it does work pretty nicely, all right? And again, it allows you to visualize things that might be very difficult to visualize on paper, all right? Thank you for paying attention.